friends, I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. Sit back, relax. We're going to talk about this new amp from Blackstar. This is the HT Venue series, the Club 40 MK3. It's a 40-watt tube amp, and uh, it has just a lot of options on it. It's, it's almost staggering how many options there are. First off, let's talk about the three different ways that we can record this amplifier. Number one, I have a... C414 XLS far mic per Mr. Steve Albini. And inside of there, we have a Celestion 7080. Second, I have a balanced line out into my 4710D here that's running straight in to my DAW. And that has cab simulation built in, three different options on the back. On top of that, you can run a USB-C out of the back of this and run it straight into your DAW and it works seamlessly. I tried it. You don't have to download anything, it just works. We have a couple different channels here. We have the clean channel, which has two different voicings, an American and a British voicing. Next to that, you have a three band EQ with your overdrive section. That has a classic overdrive as well as a modern overdrive voicing. Now on the back, you have even more options. You can choose from the three cab rig options on the back, and then you can also decide if you want that reverb to be a dark reverb or a bright reverb. The amp is powered by two EL34s and two ECC83s, otherwise known as 12AX7s. Tonight, I'm using a Scythe Guitars OH10. First, we'll just grab some clean sounds, and I just want to hear the difference between the mic's cabinet that we have here and the three different cab simulation options. doing the cleans and we chose between the British and the American voicing. In the overdrive, you do that a little bit different. They have this control here called an ISF, uh, infinite shape feature. And what that will do is it will run you between an American and a British voicing or a blend between the two. So that's very, very cool. We're gonna start in the classic overdrive and just kind of switch between the two so you can get a good feel for that. We'll also mess with that ISF a bit. Thank you. 
I'm so used to not playing with reverb and we should probably add some in here. <laughs> I, I mean, it's definitely a gig worthy amp. You know, I can imagine using just your amp as your monitor for on stage and running a direct line out and using that cab rig because that sounded really, really good. Uh, also, the USB C, if you're one who records at home and you want to just go straight in, that's a great option. And it is, you know, it's tube, so it's it's real. It's not not a like a solid state amp this is uh this is a real valve amplifier so you know it, it, to me it, it sounds really great it's nice and compact it'd be something easy to throw in the trunk or the boot if you will and uh and go gig with so thanks black star for sending this over for me to check out thank you for your time mm -hmm.